Okay, so we're going to go through finding the right documents. So you yeah. can represent a buyer on essentially a for sale by owner. Okay, so when you get in the splash screen, I want you to go to the DocuSign version. So the DocuSign? Oh, I'm sorry, Wait, Zip Form Plus, yeah. The first document you're gonna look for is gonna be a little different. We don't use this one often. So we're gonna do a search in all the different forms you've downloaded. Have you gone through this before? I think I have. Let me pull out my old school here. Um, I forgot what my username would be. And uh, I think the, oh goodness. <laughs> yeah, I guess for, for me, all I do is click on it and it automatically logs me in. Uh, go to that, yeah, that first splash screen for, yeah, click on Zip Form Plus again. And this should be my email. Like I know the password, but I forgot my username. So just go ahead and go through the steps. Okay, do this for me. Close that screen right that you're on now. Kind right. of gonna do the same. Also close the sign in screen beside it. All right. So now go on this screen here, just click on zip form plus, which is what you did before, and let me see if there's any other options. Try your first name, last name, and then a pa the password you think it is. It almost looks like for some reason, because with it saying invalid login credentials, I'm not certain why that's the case. Let's hope this works. Have you gone through this part before? This is the first time they asked me for this. Okay. And then, uh, well, this is the first time I went through it through the MLS. Okay. So it may still be it. set up. We'll find out here in a second. Go to view forms. Okay, good. Yeah, I can see you've been in here before. Now go to the search button. Are you in there? Go ahead and type in, put authorization. Okay. 
you see where it says South Carolina? See if you can change that to all different form libraries. And then, yeah, just, was there anything that popped up? Because like our faces are in the way. Okay, oh. that's not going to be it. So now change out authorization and type in show, S-H-O-W. <laughs> My bad, I'm going too fast. Oh, you're fine. I so, think uh, go fast and slow. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to save it. Uh, no. View forms. And then uh, you said take out authorization. Yep, and try putting in S H O W, show. H O W. Let's see. The agent property showing checklist. Nope, that's not going to be it. Okay, so let's go with take out show, try compensation. Basically, oh, yeah, the, um, we're looking for a document we don't use very often, so I'm not certain how, what this one's under. So I'm just taking compensation agreement. So there we go. You don't have to always know the name you're looking for, just have an idea. Right. Okay, so this is going to be the document that we should be covered. It'll say parties agree that, let me kind of read through it first. He agrees to compensate the broker company, that one you know, the EXP Realty, for purpose activity buying regarding property address. So go down. Then you're going to fill all this stuff out. You're going to want to put in when the period begins. I would probably put even a, you could do a three or six month time frame on this particular property. Compensation, 3% probably. It's up to you on what you want to do here. A lot of for sale by owners will pay 3% to the buyer's agent. You know, I've told people for sale by owners before I ever go to their property that it's even more than that because my, my jobs are going to be much bigger if there's not another agent involved. Uh, but your job right now is to get the deal under contract. So instead of like doing a 4% and, you know, trying to squeeze it, I would go 3% and just try to get this under contract. Right. Uh, so this is going to be the document you fill out. So when you're done, what you'd want to do is I would save it as a PDF. I'd fill it all out later or just come back to this later, fill it out, save it. And then you can send it to me and I can review it and let you know if I see anything that I think we need to change. Right. Okay. Okay. And I would just make a quick note on piece. I'm a paper guy. Just write down compensation agreement. So you remember the name of this form. There you go. <laughs> okay. So now let's go back to the, do you know how to get to the offer document? Real quick, I didn't have my. All right, cool. And you said to go back. Yep. Uh, I just hit no. I I know how the form looks now. Yeah, that's the key. There's a, most people don't know how to even do this, so. For your first deal, you're choosing a more complicated one, and no worries about that. So, uh, so this one, in, what offer? I would, or? Yeah, type in offer and see if it pulls up that way. And th there's a couple of different contracts. Uh, we usually use this the MLS one. So if you wanted, you could actually uh, go back up to where you choose where the forms come from. You see where it says all? Mm -hmm. Change that to consolidated multiple listing service. 
because there's going to be a couple of different contracts you can choose from. So I always start with the, the smallest organization. So if you ever have a document in the in our MLS and then one in say the greater Columbia area, I would choose ours. If there's greater Columbia versus South Carolina, I would use greater Columbia. Always go with the smaller, most local branch you're with. Right. Okay, and if offer doesn't pull up, then go ahead and just put, uh, you can either put contract because it's probably going to re read contract to sale. Okay, uh, not that one. Okay, uh, you know what? Okay, yeah, so just go ahead and go backwards, delete out contract. And let's just scroll down. They don't have that many documents. Okay. Let's see, I'm not seeing it right now. I know the MLS one usually, you know what, go to G car or C car. Because a multiple listing service a lot of times is all the listing forms. Contract to sale residential. Right here. Right? Yeah. And ours is an old one that we use. So yeah, like <laughs> revised in six in 2016. That's unfortunately the right one <laughs> for us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you know how to fill this document out? Let's see. I mean, I can pretty much do it like the last one, but... um. What, this is the steps I would do just to keep things moving along. Do right. the, the document where you get compensated from the seller. Right. Okay. And then you're going to provide him that. And you also need to provide him the agency agreement. Do you remember that one? The disclosure of agency agreement? Because you're having him sign that you're not representing him. You, all right. So you want me to do the exclusive agency agreement, right? Not the exclusive agency agreement. You've already done that. Uh, like On the buyer side. The exclusive buyer agency agreement you've already done with your buyer, right? Mm -hmm. Now you got to go to the seller and say, listen, before I submit an offer to you, I need to know that you're willing to pay me. Right. If you're not willing to pay me, I need to get compensation from my buyer. And we may not even submit an offer if they have to pay my commission. Right. Okay. And then, so go ahead and go back real quick to the forms because there's one more form you're going to need aside from your compensation agreement to the seller that you're going to provide them. And that's going to be the dual, it's uh, the agency agreement. So just type in agency. So go, go back to all forms. Oh, it was right there in the corner. That's fine. And, uh, I would probably just go to all forms on this one and then type in agency because you have a conversation with the seller. Are you like a neutral party where you're representing both sides or are you basically representing the buyer and not the seller? The seller and the buyer both need to know that information before you really start getting in, you know, money discussions. Right. Which, and I did talk with him and he said that he was more so just trying to hire a lawyer. Okay. And then um, from there, he would do all the footwork, but. um. Okay, so you're looking for just uh, not the designated agency or dual, but just the, uh, you may have to type in disclosure if it's not coming up.
I'm surprised it didn't come up under that one. Okay, so, so just take out agency and just put in disclosure. There's gonna be a lot of them, but. Okay, South Carolina disclosure of real estate. That's probably it right there. Yeah, that, that works. And as you create templates, then it's a lot easier because all the forms are together. So, right. so you don't have to remember all the names. But yeah, on this one, you're gonna need to explain to him that he can be what's called a customer, not a client. And in that regards, you're not you know, providing professional services to him, you're prof providing professional services to your client. However, you're the one who's gonna basically, you know, you'll get all the contracts, you'll do the paperwork, um, but he needs to rely on his own attorney for advice. Right. So, and then just tell him, I'm fine with that, but I, you know, I am asking you to pay the buyer, buyer commission of 3% in order for us to submit an offer so that we can move forward on buying your house. Right. Okay. The other document I would use after that, I would do this first because if he refuses to pay you, you have a, you have decisions on how you approach your your buyer, because it doesn't mean it's dead, but it does mean that you have to find a way to get that buyer to you know pay your commission. Uh, so there's that aspect. Um, but yeah, I would provide these two to the seller. Tell him what this document talks about. And then do you still have the offer overview sheet? You, you said say that one more time. The offer overview sheet? Yeah, I still have that one. I would probably go through that with your buyer so that you can get all the details of how to structure the offer. Right. And then while the seller is getting back to you, if he doesn't agree instantly about paying your commission, you can still go ahead and start getting the offer ready, but that will just move everything forward. Right. Make sure I have that sheet. I know I do. Here it goes right here. Yeah. And I can email it to you if you don't. But that, that'll just make it, yeah, that's going to make it a lot easier for you to explain the contract to them. Right. So, and then, you know, you'll have all the information that if you don't have it, you can call them. It'll make it a lot faster to prepare the offer. So, and if you have questions, you can always call me before you solidify how you write up the offer. Well, what I want to do is just go, well, not go ahead, but after I talk with them, um, get all the information that I need, write it up, and then I'll probably send it to you first mm -hmm. in order to get your, um, your, you know, your, <laughs> your experience from it. Right. Yeah, that works. So you go ahead and fill them out and just give me a shout when you're ready to, for me to actually read everything you typed in. All right, cool. The, um, the only thing is, well, I'm, I'm a probably, have everything typed up by the night he said that which and i i don't know if i should have or i shouldn't have but uh i told him that the house was gonna sell um i told my buyers that the house was gonna sell because it's all break mm -hmm. um three bedroom two bathroom home high ceilings even the the crawl space in the house was well kept up nice <laughs> And it has a nice lot. It's uh, on the edge of Elgin and right before you get into Richland. So it's in a good neighborhood. I'm going to share my screen and I want to do a few things for you. Do you mind if I put the property address on this share screen? Well, uh, we won't do that. We, yeah, um, because huh? what I want to do is I'm going to end this I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to show you some 
evaluation tools so you can get a feel for what the property is worth. Do you, do you feel you know what the property should be? I got an idea, but I told him that I would run comps on it. Okay, okay.